Attention of the day. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, welcome. My name's Seth. I run comingouttarot.com. You can always find out more about me over there. Hey, Brianne. The tarot intention of the day, if you're not sure. Hey, April. April. Hi. Hi, Tom. Uh, April, have you reached your destination yet or are you still driving? Uh, if you're not quite sure what the tarot intention of the day is, it is a way for you to approach your day with mindfulness thoughtfulness and awareness so that you're going through your day with some actionable advice that you can use to move the outcome of the events that occur during the course of your day in the direction that you would like them to go. So that's the point of the intention of the day. If you're not quite sure how to handle that, then what I do is recommend, thanks Rian, that you uh, check this out at the end of the day. Think about it and think about the events that have occurred during the course of your day and think about how if you had uh, apply the intention of the day, you could have moved the outcome of those events in the direction that you'd like them to go. So uh, what you can do is like uh, check it out on YouTube or on Facebook. I'll throw it up on Facebook tonight. Hey Geneva. All at same handle coming out tarot. You can also find it over on Instagram so you can refer back to the image in case you're a meditator and you want to spend some time with the card. A couple ways to work with it. Deck I'm using today is the Mary L tarot card I've drawn for the day. You'd think it's the tower, but it's not. It is the four of wands. A lot of times four of wands refers to uh, being in this space of uh, solid inspiration, uh, uh, being in a place of celebration, often traditionally it'll refer to weddings. Uh, but what's unique about this card today is there's this canopy uh, as there is in a lot of Four of Wands cards, but it's this canopy of faces and eyes, and I, I would show that I don't know how to explain them all to you because it's all in the design of that reddish fire, which also reminds me of a lot of fires going on in my home state in Oregon, in the gorge right now. Uh, but what is unique about this to me is to have all those eyes and all those faces uh, is like being watched <clears throat> and observed. But what's cool about the Four of Wands, especially in the space of being watched and observed, is you're being watched and observed in a way that uh, people are seeing your success and they're examining it. So in a place of awareness and mindfulness and knowing that other people are watching you, especially for what you're good at, it can be really intimidating, right? But how can you be more aware of the actions that you're taking that are exemplifying success that other people want to pay attention to. You may learn something about yourself, not only to share with other people, but something you want to repeat over and over and over again as you realize, oh, that's what makes me successful, or that's how other people see my success. I had no idea I was doing that. So mindfulness about your own success through the observation, eyes, and views of other people and how you approach your day is your intention for the day. I hope that's helpful. If it is, please share it with other people. Please share it far and wide so everybody can benefit from the intention of the day. And then drop me a line on any of those channels I mentioned, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, same handle, Coming Out Tarot. You'll also find it on Twitter if you're over there. Uh, and let me know how it went. I'd love to know how you put it into practice. I'd love to know uh, if it was a crap day, if it was a good day, <laughs> if you forgot to do it at all, or if you uh, really were intentional about it. I'd love to hear about how it goes. Uh, and if you are over in the Northwest, West. Please be safe. I hope your families are safe. Same thing on the East Coast where Irma's on her way. I mean, we talk about, I mean, climate change on the East Coast. West Coast, yes, we have fires often, but this was through neglig negligence and uh, youth being stupid and playing with illegal fireworks at a time when it is just dumb to be playing with fireworks out in the woods in the Northwest. So hopefully some of that rain from the East Coast is going to make its way West and help those firefighters um, have some thoughts, some good thoughts about those firefighters and all of the families on the East Coast because uh, it's life-threatening in both places. And there's a lot of people putting their lives on the line, first responders, care workers, health workers, uh, in order to make sure everybody's safe and cared for. So uh, while I am not a thoughts and prayers person, uh, because I think that does less than actually doing something about it and sending some money. Uh, that kind of energy is always super important, but uh, 
if you can do something, do something, which can either mean donating money, sending clothes to Goodwill. You don't have to actually send it all to Oregon or the East Coast. You can help out people locally knowing that you're supporting organizations that are helping people in those places of great need as well. Um, just as someone who works for an organization that does a lot of health and human service. So thanks everybody. Have a great Wednesday and I will see you all later.